Hello, I'm Harold. Uh, as some of you might know, I, I bought a DRO last winter to go in my mill, and I found it to be a very nice thing to have, you know, pretty handy, especially considering you, you know how far you move and where you started and all that, and all the X and Y and Z positions, and, and all that's really handy. But DROs come with functions too, you know, like hole patterns, which I've shown people how to do the hole pattern in a video way back when I got it. And uh, here a couple of weeks ago, I, I showed the uh, data function, you know, data points, where you could go and every time you made a cut or a hole or wherever you started at, you could add it on as a data point and you can go off and do other things. And then when you put another piece in on the, the mill in, in the same location, you can go back and just go back to each one of these data points instead of having a bunch of trouble, you know, finding out where you ought to be. That was handy. But uh, one of my one of my three viewers contacted me and said that uh, he was interested in uh, in the arc function and his manuals in Chinglish, and he had uh, he had watched Keith Rucker and and Keith Rucker maybe went through it too fast and he didn't figure out what he did there, so uh, I wanted to know if I would you know go through it and so I spent the past three or four days figuring out the uh, the arc function and I've got it worked out now. And uh, I am books in Chinglish too, so it took me a little bit to do it. And I, I also contacted the DRO pros. I don't think their manuals are in Chinglish because I downloaded them. It looks like good, readable information. And they have videos that are really helpful, show you how to use each of their, uh, their products. One of them I looked at was the Eason. And uh, the guy was, did a wonderful job showing how to do uh, an arc function on that. But anyway, we're going to read from the book. And this is the book right here. Um, and it says here in the book, Ellipse be allotted a hole. Function take three I. The God of the earth who points out that the obvious form of number provides the convenient ellipse having hole function. Handles person requires English to import an ellipse. That's the ellipse function. I, I have, uh, well, that'll be in another video, but I, it was one of the more interesting pages, I think. And just in case you think that I'm making all that up, I'm going to hold that right there for a second. And uh, you can read it for yourself. Okay? And you can see, dearly beloved, it's in the book. Okay? Now I'm going to, I'm going to cut my first ever arc today. First time in metal, anyway. I, I've made some little test holes on a piece of plywood. It didn't really cut the plywood into an arc, but I tested all eight of the modes that you have for making arcs. You can have an outside arc for each of the four corners, and you can have an inside arc for each of the four corners. And uh, they're numbered, uh, they're in, in as modes one through eight. And there's a picture in the book that I'll show you during the, the uh, arc cutting. And you'll find that Bozo, being ever helpful, gets in there and helps me. But uh, by golly, I get an arc in spite of him. It's There's a flaw, you know. But you'll have to admit that it is actually a proper arc. And uh, before we get to that, I want to tell you about uh, Boudreaux. He, he, was, he was a Louisiana State policeman there. And... Uh, the Louisiana State Police has got wind there's some illegal cockfighting going on down around Lafayette. So they went and got Boudreaux, you know, him being their number one undercover detective. And, and they sent him on down there to take a look and find out what was going on, you know. So Boudreaux comes back to headquarters and he says, uh, I got this whole thing figured out. And they started to say, well, tell me about it. And he says, well, there's three main groups in this. There's the Aggies, there's the Cajuns, and there's the Mafia. And Sergeant says, well, how, how do you know all that? And so uh, Boudreaux says, well, he says, I saw the cockfight. He said, I went there, and he says, and I saw it. And he said, I know the Aggies was involved when they entered the duck in the, in the fight. And uh, Sergeant says, well, yeah, yeah, I guess I can see that. And Boudreaux says, and he says, when they bet on the duck, he says, I know the Cajuns was there because he know you know how those Cajuns, they get to drinking and he says, and they'll do any crazy thing. They'll bet on everything. So he says, that pretty much proves that the Cajuns are involved in it. 
And the surgeon said, yeah, well, he says, what, what about the mafia? How do you know they're in there? Well, <laughs> no, uh, uh, Boudreau says, uh, that's the easiest part. He says, the damn duck won. It's better than redneck joke from the last one. Let's go, uh, let's go and help Mr. Bozo cut this arc. With the arc function on the DRO, you can make uh, outside arc like that. You can make an inside arc. You can make one that's on a long piece. You can make an XY plane, YZ plane, or the XY plane, the YZ plane, or the XZ plane. All these uh, planes are possible for making an, an arc. And the amount of distance on each step determines how smooth it's going to be. Like I say, you've got the outside arc and the inside arc. The, uh, the DROs come with a certain number of uh, pre-made functions for doing these arcs. And let's see here. On this one, on this one you get eight. I think number, uh, number six here is faulty. But uh, anyway, I've done all eight of them and, and it will do them. Uh, this manual is kind of uh, an interesting thing because it's written in Chinglish. So we'll have prompts that uh, talk about the side thing and the sword and all that stuff. And we're going to just sort of swing with it and rejoice in it. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set up the uh, X and uh, Y for just regular absolute coordinates. And what I'm going to do first here is we're going to get uh, going to get the Y, and we're going to find the exact edge here. And then I'm going to move back the width of the uh, ha of half of the cutter and the depth of the radius, because we're going to make a radius around like this. You know, it's going to be a curve like that. And I'm going to start out. I'm going to start cutting the radius, I'll be over here on this end. The X will be sort of hanging off that end there. And hopefully we'll have small enough steps that will be a reasonably smooth radius. So I'm going to go ahead and get the, uh, get the cutter uh, set for the, for the Y uh, and then we'll, for the Y zero, and then I'll come back. And I'm going to somewhat copy someone else's uh, demonstration for this because they did it so well there's no point in me you know reinventing the wheel uh, they did it with another brand of DRO but still it's pretty much the same thing all right I've got the the end mill right up against the side of the uh, metal there so we're going to the calculator we know the end mill is 0 0.5 inches We'll divide that by two, and that will give us 0.25. Now I want to make a three-quarter inch radius here, just because we've got a small amount of, of uh, distance. So I'm going to add 0 0.75 to it. Oh, that's plus. Uh, I can see right now I'm cutting this part. All right, so I've got uh, the radius of that cutter is half inch. It's half the width of it. And when I get it back to zero, then I still want to go back three quarters of an inch so that I'll have uh, it, the ability to make a three quarter inch radius. So I'm going to just transfer that number over into the uh, Y parameter. <coughs> And then I'm going to work the little booger down to zero. It sometimes takes longer than others. When I'm in a hurry, it, uh, it goes slow. When I'm wanting to take it easy, it goes fast. All right, 
remember that that rightmost digit is uh, tenths of a thousand. So if I get off a little bit there, it's not a big deal. <coughs> So I'm going to zero the Y parameter there. And I'm going to move myself over. And we're going to find uh, X right beside that uh, right beside that little piece of metal. And I'm going to use the piece of paper method. And I'll be right back after I've found it. Alright, that ought to make it easy to read the DRO. I've got the... Uh, we got the cutter moved back here to uh, the new zero for the Y and zero for the X is off the side here. I've just got X touch the uh, cutter touch the end of this bar. We're going to start from that position. Okay. Uh, come back up here to the DRO and I'm going to choose the arc function. And with this one, it says choose the plane. If I choose X, that gives me the XY plane. If I choose the Y, that gives me the YZ plane. If I press the Z, it gives the ZX plane. We're going to do this in the XY plane. Then you have to push enter after each one of these things. Now the process mode. <coughs> which one of these? Uh, which one of these arcs are we going to do? We're going to do this number eight, eight here. here. Press enter. Now I want to know outdoing. Now that, that doesn't make much sense, but uh, outdoing is whether we're going to make an outside arc or an inside arc. So we push the plus to tell it it's an outside arc. If I push the minus, it's an inner doing, which would be an, an inside arc. We want an outdoing. <laughs> so we're going to take that. And it wants to put down the in. in input beside radius. Well the beside radius is the radius that we're going to have. And it's going to be 0 0.750 having a three quarter inch radius. Push enter. It wants to know the sword diameter and you can guess what it says. I'm not making it up. Uh, the sword diameter is 0 0.5. We've got a half inch end mill in there and we'll press enter. Now the input arc this is where you tell it how big of a step you want to make. The smaller the step, the finer the cut. So I'm going to go down and tell it I want uh, 0.1. 0 0.1. Uh, in there for the step. All right, it says circle process sequence number one. Well, number one, we're starting out at 0, 0 there. We're not going to move, you know, on this step. So we'll go right on to step two. And what I have to do is run this little booger down to uh, zero on the X and then I'll run it to zero on the Y. Match in my cutter here. All right, so I guess it's going to be hard for you to see both things unless I back things off here some. Back it up. And uh, I'm not sure how you're going to be able to see Sorry about all the camera movement, but I'm going to crank it up, and the DRO is a long ways from the uh, from the cutter. I guess we'll just sort of do it like that. Maybe that's a little of both. All right. So I'm going to take the, Z, the uh, X axis to zero first.
we have to get step three. It's X is a little X and Y. Let's come over here and I'll zero out the X first. Alright, let's take it out of there and see what we've got. It's not, not a good art, but it, uh, maybe it's enough to give you an idea. You can see that uh, it curved around good. I obviously miscalculated the Y, or else I'm, I made a wrong move on the Y axis. I'll be back after I clean this up. Alright, zoom back out here. All right, that was 17 moves to cut around in a circle. And like I say, I, obviously I miscalculated my Y. I was too far back. And uh, I'll, that, that something I, I'll do better next time. But this is a, should give you an idea of how to cut an arc. And you can see the little stops where you... If you cut it down to a smaller step, you, these little notches get smaller and smaller and you can cut a very, a very nice arc. It's kind of embarrassing to have missed on the Y there, but uh, that's the way it goes. If you notice, the thing started out making really small X moves and large Y moves, and then after you passed halfway, you started making some larger X moves and smaller Y moves. But uh, even though it's a miscalculation, that is a that is an arc, and it's it's an arc the way it should be. It just is, should have started out here and come all the way to this edge. My uh, my mistake on the Y starting position. Okay, so I appreciate you watching, and we'll do another DRO function uh, later. Maybe do it better. If you'd like to subscribe, give it a shot.